So when Heihachi versus Geese came out, right, I eventually got led back to this fight in Death Battle with Ryu and Jin. There's a lot of things that I'd like to talk about in this battle because I was I was severely disappointed with the outcome. Um I believe it is totally inaccurate. And they just pulled a lot of bias bullshit that I'd like to address. Now, if we're going by realistically, Jin would come out the victor. There's no contest. Considering how many moves Jin has, not once did I see a sidestep. Not once did I see a parry. Not once did I see any of Jin's iconic moves. Yet they mention Jin's electric wind hook fist, but you never see it in the fight. All he, all, like, really, the only two moves that Jin used was his Soul Calibur 5 um, move, where he turns, you know, he goes up and he gets the guy by the neck and slams him on the ground. And then they showed that Blood Vengeance move that he does to Heihachi, which is non canon, by the way, which they also state, but then they used elements like that. In my opinion, I think that they knew Ryu would lose this battle. They just had to pull out the bias card because they knew more about Street Fighter than Tekken. Also, on the Blood Vengeance thing, they contradicted Jin's control with his Devil Gene. Jin can already control it. It was already apparent by Tekken 7's release. If they played through the story mode, they would know Jin is able to control it. It's not fucking rocket science, because they gave Ryu the Muno Ken out of nowhere and ended with the most stupidest fucking climax I've ever seen in a death battle episode. I didn't want to make a reaction to this death battle episode knowing the logic that they put made no sense. The contradictory, bad research on Jin's part. And the outcome. Oh, and the climax. Everything else was great. The choreography, I loved the rap, you know, like the, the rap song that they used. Everything else, but just those things made this just bullshit. Realistically, at the end of the day, Jin would win this fight. And Death Battle really played the bias card with Ryu. And I'm not being biased myself. I've been a fan of both Tekken and Street Fighter for a long time. And they've messed up so many things with both characters. They compared Ryu to Akuma, acting like, oh, he's this big bad bitch who can kill anybody. But Ryu never beat Akuma. You know who survived Akuma? Heihachi. But they never cared about that. They scaled Jin drastically. And they scaled Ryu drastically. And that's what made this battle a piece of crap in the end. Poor outcome, poor research, plain bias, one-sided. Now we're going to talk about Heihachi versus Geese. I was very surprised by the announcement of this battle because I've grown to be a big fan of the King of Fighters. And Geese Howard is one of, you know... <laughs> one of those characters that I just look at and go, yeah, he's a badass. He's cool. I like this guy. But you guys know uh, who I favored. I was being biased here with Heihachi versus Geese because I know Heihachi would win. There, There's no contest here between these two. If they wanted to give Heihachi an actual fight, they'd put him up against Omega Rugal. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed that this fight was 2D instead of the 3D we saw with Ryu versus Jin. But um, the 2D sprites were really cool. Uh, I loved the way they all moved around and stuff. I didn't like the expressions and stuff. I thought those were a little dumb. The climax was fitting. You knew going straight into Heihachi versus Geese that you were going to see Geese falling or Heihachi throwing his ass off a cliff or something like that. And they delivered. I think this fight was a little too short. I don't know. It just felt like this went too quick. 
I thought the research on Heihachi was all right. Uh, Geese's, they left a lot of stuff out from what one of my friends have said in the server. And the voices, good God. I thought the Ryu versus Jin Street Fighter Cross Tekken clips that they had uh, for Jin was just awful. But then as soon as I hear Heihachi, <laughs> the high pitch... <laughs> what the fuck was that? And then you got geese who you can barely understand. <laughs> like, God, it was laughable. I love the faraway shot where geese and Heihachi are fighting in the like the volcano area. It, it's such a cool panned shot. Like that's some impressive shit right there. Like that that was cool to see. That's basically all I got. The research was adequate. The climax was as I expected it to be. Um, the result was as expected as well. I knew going into this, Heihachi would come out the superior. Um, and it m kind of made up for Ryu versus Jin. Not really. Um, I'm probably not going to forgive Screw Attack for that. Especially if they bring Kazuya on and make him lose to Akuma or something. With that bias bullshit. I just hope they don't do it again. Now, that's basically all I got. Um, I hope to see more Tekken and Death Battle, and, uh, it was fun talking about these and getting it off my chest.